And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 70 roll quest for casters in Final Fantasy XIV. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are in the Crystarium at uh, 11.15. And we need to talk to uh, uh, Seerig. And we are playing as a Red Mage. So um, I realized that I actually hadn't done these roll quests. So that's why I'm doing them a bit late. But as I say, better late than ever. So the first quest is called Hollow Pursuits. Uh, sea Rig is eyeing you inquisitively. So let me guess, you're standing in front of uh, Sea Rig, Bounty Hunter uh, non parial I don't know what that means, because you've a mind to aid me in felling the dread uh, Phronesis. Do I have the right of it, or do I have the right of it? Uh, what? If I didn't know better, I could have sworn you just suggested that you're unfamiliar with Phronesis. But that couldn't be. No sinner worth her soul could be so ignorant. Allow me to elaborate. Phronesis isn't just your run-of-the-mill stray city. Uh, he's one of the nastiest the realm has seen. Formed of what uh, see, remains of one of the God's Dance Warriors of Light. Um, there are four of them, all told. Crawled up from the bowels of the deepest hell after being buried for nigh on a century. If the tales are true, uh, people have come to call them the Cardinal Virtues. Uh, before he was transformed into a Sinny, Vronasis uh, uh, was none other than Arch Magus uh, Nelbert, whose baleful magics were feared the realm over. Though it's only been a few short years since he first showed up in Armorang, he was already preyed on far too many innocents with his foul sorcery. Not keen on seeing their trade routes disrupted, the local merchants have placed a healthy bounty on his head. Of course, I like nothing more than to fell the fiend single-handed and claim the entire bounty for myself. Unfortunately, circumstances have dictated that I recruit a companion. That's where you come in. Provided that you can prove to me that you possess a rather a specialized set of skills that I require, I promise I'll make it worth your while. Not a bad offer, wouldn't you say so? Um, if you fancy yourself up to the task, come find me in Armorang. I mean to set off for there shortly. That's fair enough. Okay, so we need to teleport to Armorang. All right, but well, we have to travel there. So once we get to Armorang, we will continue. Okay, we made it to Armorang. Let's talk to Seerig. So you came. Um, it's good to see someone who isn't all talk. As Fortune would have there, another Sin Eater, a far less imposing specimen than Phronesis, of course, has been sighted just to the west of here. Prove to me that you have the skill to back up your words and we'll talk further. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's go. At least getting this done now would, will mean that I'll be able to do the other caster roles quests at level 80 straight away. Like Black Mage and Summoner and stuff. I'm a bit too OP, but whatever. So, a good show, friend. I wasn't sure what to expect from you, but seeing you in battle has left me with little doubt. It seems that I find myself a formidable ally. And so I'll extend the offer in earnest. Help me hunt down Phronesis, and we'll split the bounty down the middle. Well, what do you say? Um, that's the spirit. Now, there's more you should know before we proceed. Come with me to Mordsok. 
uh, my base of operations and I'll fill you in on the details. Okay, uh, let's quickly teleport. So welcome to more talk friend as you can see it's a bustling trading post frequented by merchants from across the realm uh, at least it was before phronesis showed up and started preying on unwitting travelers hence the bounty you see the lucrative reward has attracted the attention of one capable bounty hunter after the next yet the fiend still ro roams free you can probably imagine why those few who have seen Phronesis and returned to tell the tale speak of great horrors they witness. Uh, cravenous uh, black holes materializing out of thin air, swallowing everything around them into the abyss. People have taken to calling them the hollows. Rumor has it that one barely has time to lay eyes on Phronesis before he summons forth the hollows which proceed to consume everything in sight. And I do mean everything. Just the other day, an entire caravan was devoured by the hollows, leaving only uh, nothingness behind. Uh, mages have postulated that these holes are literally tears in the fabric of our reality, gateways to other worlds, to put it another way. At any rate, uh, suffice to say that the next man to come from the void will be the first. And yet there's something odd about it all. Ministers say that Phronesis doesn't seem to go out of his way to prey on people or settlements. He simply uh, shambles across the way, summoning hollows one after the next, and the destruction follows as a matter of course. Needless to say that drawing too near to the fiend is tantamount to suicide. Even attacks from afar have been all but futile, as Phronesis simply summons the hollows to consume every incoming arrow. With every conce conceivable means of attack foiled, um, even the most savvy bounty hunters have all but thrown up their hands. Even though the bounty now stands at nine or tenfold the original amount. I'm of a different mind, however. Uh, the way I see it, if only there was a way to neutralize the hollows, we'd more than stand a chance against Phronesis himself. This is why I require your services. Uh, your easy triumph over the Sydney Earth spoke clear. You're a mage of no common skill. If anyone has the arcane knowledge and attitude to help me figure out a way to uh, defend against the Hollows, it's you. Don't worry, I fully intend to shoulder my share of the burden. And so I plan to gather all the information we need before asking you to put yourself in harm's way. And with that, I'd best get to work. Once I've formulated a proper plan of attack, we'll talk again. Until then, I suggest that you continue to hone your casting skills. The battle that awaits us will not be an easy one. Cool. All right. Um, I'm assuming the next one. Okay, level 72. All right, so that's it for this episode. The next one, we're going to do level 72 cast the roll quest. So anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.